Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.7.10. Now, uh, this includes all the Shaders packs, so you can actually choose um, which Shader pack you have. Uh, but basically what you need to do to install this mod is visit the description and under Downloads there will be five links. Uh, so you want to click them all. Uh, so one will take you to here, the other one to Optifine, the other one to Minecraft Forge, and uh, this one to the Adfly. And then the other one will take you to WinRAR. Now, uh, on that page, uh, that's just a program which you need to install. So just select the version for your computer. And uh, then you just press next, 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 and just install that program. So once you've installed that program, you're good to go. So uh, go to this page, and you want to scroll down until you see 4 1.7.10. And you want to press download from server 1. So click that, and uh, that's going to bring you here. You want to press download and uh, should be downloading straight away. Now where your downloads are, it may come up with this message, just press keep. Okay, now that that's downloaded, you can close these two. Now onto Optifine, uh, so you want to go to the top where it says Minecraft 1.7.10 and you want to press download here, so click that. Should take you to AdFly, you just want to wait five seconds. Skip ad and it'll take you back to Optifine and you just want to press download. Okay, I uh, should come up with the same message, just press keep. Okay, now that's downloading, you can close this. And uh, now for Minecraft Forge, so where it says select Minecraft version, you just want to click that arrow and then select 1.7.10. Then you want to look for 1.7.10 latest and you want to scroll across, I um, mean just go across until you see installer and you want to click that. That'll take you to AdFly, you just want to wait 5 seconds. Skip ad. And uh, come up with this message again, just press keep. And uh, yeah, so once you've done that, uh, you can close this. And uh, that brings you to the last thing, which is a thing I've put together um, just to make installing the shader packs a lot easier. So uh, in this I put like all the, um, uh, most of the most common shader packs. So. If uh, you do have one on this list, I'll show you how to install that as well. So just click skip add. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Then press download and that'll just download that file. Okay, so uh, now we've installed all the files, you want to click show all downloads and that'll just show you all the things we just downloaded and you just want to get them all and just drag them to your desktop. So you should have the shaders mod itself, you should have Optifine, you should have Forge, and then you should have shader packs. So just drag that all to the desktop. Once you've got all that, you can close this. And now what we want to do is we want to install Forge. So to do that, get this Forge uh, WinRAR file and you just want to right click on it, open with Java. If it doesn't come up there, it goes choose default program. So click that. More options and you just want to find Java. So it's at the top. So just click that. And uh, that'll basically just open this. Uh, you want to tick install client and you want to make sure it ends with slash dot minecraft and um, also make sure that minecraft is closed uh, during everything we do now so yeah once you've done that press ok and uh, that'll basically just install forge so just wait for that to load okay so once it's done it'll say complete and you just want to press ok uh, so now my forge is installed we can delete this so we're done with that uh, now you, what we want to do is find our minecraft folder so to do that press the windows key and r at the same time and that'll bring up this run uh, thing. This is basically just a place where you can search for files. So delete everything in here and you want to search percentage app data percentage. Then you want to press OK and that'll bring you to your roaming folder. And uh, you just want to look for dot Minecraft. It should be at the very top. So go into that. And then what you want to do is just right click in this open space here. Just right click new folder and you want to call it mods. So just MODS. Once you've done that, you want to go into that mods folder and you want to get to Optifine and Shaders mods. So you want to highlight them both and then you want to click and drag them both into your mods folder. So now you should have the Shaders mod and Optifine into your mods folder. So once you've done that, uh, you need to right click in this open space again. So right click, new folder, and you just want to call it Shader Packs. Just like that. So just Shader Packs. Um, once you've done that, you want to open this file with WinRAR, so just right click on it, open with uh, WinRAR, if it doesn't show up there, choose default program, more options, and you just want to find WinRAR, 
And uh, if it still doesn't show up, you want to go look for another app on this PC and just select WinRAR. So once you've done that, it should show up here. So click that. And uh, this will basically um, open all the shader packs. Now here's where you have a bit of um, choice. So you can either install them all or you can just choose the ones. Uh, I would recommend just putting them all in, then you can decide in game which ones you like and then you can delete the ones you don't like. Um, there is probably more shader packs. Uh, in that case you can just download them and then just drag them into your shader pack folder. So uh, yeah. Uh, so go into the shoulder shader pack sorry shader pack folder and uh, you basically just want to select everything or just select any file and press control A and you just want to click them and drag them into your shader pack folder and just let go and uh, yeah so there should be all in here uh, so again as I said you can just choose like one drag it in but I'm just gonna install them all and uh, again if you did you know install your own one you know one what's not on the list just uh, get it and drag it into the same folder so once you've done that you can close all this and you are basically done so uh, if we go into Minecraft you can delete this by the way uh, you don't have to but you can okay so now we should have a profile called forge uh, so you select that and uh, this is basically the profile with our mod on so if you press edit uh, I would recommend naming it like shaders or something I don't know something like that then you want to press save and now you have two profiles one just runs the normal version of Minecraft and then the other one's shaders so if you want to play with the mod select shaders and press play Okay, so uh, now we should be in game, and uh, you should see a few new things, for example, three mods loaded, um, so that's all good. Uh, also, uh, if you go into options, you should see shaders here, and uh, that's how you know it works, so you click that, and here's basically all the shader packs you have. So uh, if you only installed one, there'd be just one on this uh, list, but uh, basically, as you can see, I've done like all the basic uh, shader packs and then I've done all their versions so you can see extreme high low uh, but basically uh, if we go into a world uh, any old world uh, you may not uh, notice a difference yet that's because you need to select the pack you want to use um, so now if we press escape options shader packs uh, basically we can just select the one we want and uh, you know if you like that one you can keep it you can delete the other ones if you want, um, but yeah, so you just select it. Uh, my favorite one's probably Rudo Plays, so select that, and done. Uh, you can also play with some settings there. But yeah, as you can see, uh, changes a lot, and it looks very cool. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, and subscribe if you're new. Also, um, there may have been a lot of errors that could have occurred. Uh, this is quite a complicated mod to install, but um, if you you know if you have a problem, please leave a comment and I get back to you with the solution. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all later.